the first three parts of the zombie game dev blog talked about mechanics, systems, and other things for the game. Now that the mechanics are put into place, now I'm going to give you guys a little look at what you guys can expect in the very near future. Including a class system I'm implementing and safe houses. So let's go over what they are. As a review, if you go to this shop called Junk Forecast Pond, but it's called Copper Bank, you have this button to convert your points into gold. 10 points will mean 10 gold. You press this button each time you have at least 10 points in order to get your gold. You can use your gold to buy items in the mall. That's very simple stuff. Now we're going to get into the good stuff. Let's head outside and explore a little bit because there's a lot of new material here. First off, you have the diner. Technically, it's implemented because there are zombies here. But I'm going to add some stuff to there. So hang on to, hang on to that. But there is something new. The houses. The houses are brand new as they are now called safe houses. And how these function is very simple. You enter... Now, keep in mind that it's in creative mode, so you're not going to see this white circle. But should you enter this white circle area, this area, this house, you're going to be healed your HP. It's like a campfire system is what it's called and the campfire can be actually found in the second floor or first floor excuse me i should say but the campfire will cover the whole house therefore healing you each time you enter this particular area also loot boxes are a thing so make sure you guys check those out because you're gonna find some treasure some items that you will we, 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 you will need for your journey here. Make sure you guys look for those as well. This is the campfire. However, once you do leave the, the zone or this area, then you're out of the safe zone properties. Now, zombies will not spawn inside the house of any type. The only time there is going to be a zombie there. If you, if you accidentally leave it alive in this particular area that enters the zone. So keep, keep that in mind. But there will be no zombie spawners, that's what these are, inside the houses. Those are safe houses. Okay, so keep that in mind as you play. Now obviously missing walls, so that's a, that's a problem. There's something else that's new. The cars. Why? Because I have a little freeway system, kind of. It's a little messy. Still learning creative stuff, but it is a freeway system in a way. The gas stations are brand new. And how this is, these guys work is a few is very simple. Inside each gas station, you're gonna have at least one loot box or loot chest or whatever you want to call it. But these this button it converts your points to gold. That is it's still here. Okay, there's going to be multiple buttons per gas station. To allow you to convert different types of points into gold. So 100 points for 100 gold. 1000 points for 1000 gold. And so on and so forth. However, there is another function that these guys work. And that's these guys. They're the checkpoints. So in certain creative games by creators you have these checkpoint pads and if we step on them a few things happen depending on what game it is it's like a st if it's a story game you respawn here if you die in the story game in this game it it serves a few person a few functionalities the first one of course is the obvious one respawn here if you die here that's the that's the that's a basic function. But there's something else. There's going to be a class system that I'm going to be implementing in the very near future for this game. Very near future. Now, part 5. 
how this works is should you die in this game i'm going to give you a class as in like weapons that is not like an actual full class but weapon class if i should say and you get weapons just to get started back at your feet again i will warn you you will still lose everything else once you get killed by a zombie that's just how the hardcore version works it is hardcore after all now to make it interesting that's the interesting part the class system i may give you resources to build with this is why the building part of the fortnite is included in this particular game in the zombie game because as you guys can see here we have now have one two three four five six six zombie spawners in this area all of these are red fiends by the way i'll explain how this works in a moment with the point system but you have six areas of possible possible zombies and there's gonna be more over here and i'll explain that area in a moment and the cars you can actually run over the zombies and you still get points so make sure you guys understand that part now, have you noticed any a familiar thing with games like this? So once you leave a spawn area of zombies, they respawn. Most likely starting at this point where my player is at. Around here, they're going to start to despawn because they're out of your range. Once you get here though, I'm going to put another gas station. In particular here. So that you can respawn here because after this point the zombies get too hard and i mean when i mean it i mean it the zombies are going to get harder starting with this factory now anybody take a guess what used to be here in this factory this factory was not here what was it called if you guess game game lobby you're correct because this used to be location of the pre-game lobby. I'm going to change it up a bit. Once I learn how to use it correctly. I know how to build one. But I decided to change this to the factory area. So level 3 zombies or the brutes as we, they call them. Are going, to be are going to be responsible for this area. Let me explain how those work. The levels of zombies. Technically, in Fortnite, there is no such thing as zombie level. However, there are different types of zombies that are responsible in the game. For example, in the mall, you have the, the zombies called the fiends. F-I-E-N-D-S. Friends without the R. So, you have the fiends. They are responsible for giving you 10 points per kill. Then we have the diner responsible for the red fiends. These guys give you 20 points per kill. And when we get into the, the factory, the brutes are responsible for giving you 50 points per kill. Just because they give you more points, more points actually means more danger. These are harder than the Red Fiends, and the Red Fiends are harder than Fiends. That is why I start you out with a pickaxe. One swing of that pickaxe on a Red on a Fiend is going to give you 10 points. But on a Red Fiend, ah, uh -uh, no sir. That's just how this works. Now you may be wondering a few things though. The checkpoint system, why why is that? Why did it decide to put a checkpoint system rather than having you respawn at the mall? First off, it's for convenience convenience purposes. Remember in real life, the gas station allows you to take a break, get gas for your car, and get snacks. In Fortnite, I'm thinking of the same thing, although instead of like snacks, you get loot, you get treasure, you get weapons. That's how that's how I'm thinking Fortnite. Then another thing. Instead of going back to the mall and you have to go all the way to the factory, I'm gonna have cars for you guys to ride in, to drive, 
so you can get to anywhere you need to go from the gas station here to the factory to the eventual park the park is going to be included at, at one point so you don't have to go all the way back to the mall but i'm going to allow you another chance to get back to the mall without using the car and that is a teleport system so when you teleport out of a gas station or a or a location you're going to go back to the mall and most likely your back point is going to be either pizza the pizza pit store here or one of these areas like where the resources center is or where you originally spawn at this area so why is that a, a, a good thing so that you can guys go shopping here at the mall without losing your gold of course remember you still have to convert your points to gold if you want that gold that's how this works okay so in the future very near future in part five i'm going to explain what i do with the class system for you guys and then i'm going to explain other new things i want to try to implement including the mystery box which i'm still going to try to work on now a few of you may have noticed that i have i can't publish a game yet that's not because it's not a game game where you can do stuff it's actually because of some rules with Fortnite. Let me explain how this works. So one of the devices you can create with is called a support a creator button. What this does has a few functionalities. So if you watch me play with Francis the Hedgehog, Primal Survival, I mean, excuse me, Fiend Slayer Primal Survival, that game has something called a support a creator button which looks like this guy you may have noticed it looks like this now how this works is two functionalities you press this button to what they call pledge your supporter to a supporter let's do support to a support to a creator is what it's supposed to say I'm supposed to um say here so why is this important? This button has two functionalities. Support the creator who created the game of any game of this type. Secondly, if you buy stuff at the store, at the Fortnite store, the creator, if you support your creator through the button here, they actually get they actually get a discount. And not only that, they support the creator the creator gets something out of it in fact let me explain how that works depending on how much you support the creator the creator actually can get money from that because that part of the cut from the app um, from the fortnite store with v bucks is what they call it you actually get money from that that's how the support of the uh, creator works now you might be wondering how I cannot publish yet. That's because I'm below the threshold, at least for the support of creator portion. 1,000 subscribers and one th or and or 1,000 Twitter followers are required for that program. So if you guys want to support me as a creator with this game, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share because that's going to help us out. And I say us because it's it's a family. We're making this as a family, in a way. Okay. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna share for now. Once I implement the uh, the class system, I'm going to give you another update. And maybe I'm gonna make this more prettier than what it is now, because obviously you don't want purple floors. Now, obviously, purple floors mean that it's still in work in progress i might make walls here and some of some type just to contain the world that you are playing in but other than that that's all i have to say for now on the development of this game next time we're going to go over the class system and maybe the mystery box if i can get it to work properly until then, we'll see you guys at 5.15 and 9.15 for Fortnite Team Battles.
and my buddy Bryce the Jackal. For now, my fellow game hogs and gamers out there, we'll see you guys tonight.